Day 176 of documenting my life because every day is special. It's Sunday. I woke up around 1 p.m. today because I went to bed almost at 4. So that was not fun. But I was doing some work and getting some editing done. And I just went to go get some Korean food. So I'll show that right now. Beautiful Korean food. Um, so good. And I also had this yummy little yogurt drink. The guy on it is so cute. I've had this maybe, it's my second time I think, but I do really like it. So we did that and now I'm back in my room. I got to do some work, upload my video for the student correspondent thing and send it to the person who is going to be able to, you know, publish it and promote it. So really excited about that. And then later today, I'm going to get some sushi, I think with my friend Halsey and maybe Sherla, we'll see uh, who else gets to come. But I thought I would do a little like really catch up. I guess I haven't done that in a little while, but you know, I've been in Taiwan for maybe a month and a half now. I am so happy. I love being here. I love the country of Taiwan. I love being in Taipei. I love the MRT. I love the food here. I like my friends here and the people that I've met here. And I honestly really do love this life. And I only have a month left of, you know, doing this study abroad program, which seems crazy because for months it had kind of seemed like it was coming up. I didn't know what it was going to be like. I didn't know if I was going to like it. I didn't know if people were going to, if I, like, if I was going to make friends, if I was going to be, you know, have, like, be okay. And then it turned out to be one of the best things ever. I'm so, so thankful. And I'm really just... <laughs> I really don't know what else to say. I'm just so appreciative of my time here and I'm just trying to soak in every single moment. I think we're going to Tainan next week and I just, you know, I'm trying to do as much, eat as much and see as much as I can before this month is up. But it's really just shown me that I want to, you know, return to Taiwan more and more and also just continue to keep learning the language because now I've been able to talk to my grandparents using Chinese, very simple Chinese, but even still, it's what an improvement and so cool. I'm very proud of myself for putting in the work and, you know, I just hope that they can all be proud of me too, because I'm trying really hard just to reconnect with that part of myself. So thanks for joining me on this little reflective moment and I'll see you later.